I'm so excited that it's that time of year again. The Linux Game Jam 2018 is poised to be the biggest and most exciting jam we as a community have done. Admittedly, we've only done one other one, but still. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about though, you can watch the previous announcement video. The Linux Game Jam is in full swing right now, and this year the Game Jam is all about versatile verbs. Actions in game that allow the player to be as expressive as they want to be in their play. As of the release of this video, there are still five days left to complete your work. And I wanted to help you guys along with your projects by highlighting four open source projects that can help you in your journey. Before we get started with this list, I made a list just like this last year featuring a few other tools that might help you. You can check it out up here. All right, first up we have Blender. Blender is a GPL licensed 3D modeling tool developed by the Blender Foundation. It's capable of a huge number of things from the aforementioned 3D modeling to animation, physics simulation, functioning as a game engine itself, or even video editing. Blender does a lot. It's a great tool to work with, though <laughs> the interface can sometimes be obtuse. If you need a way to make your polygons look pretty, Blender is my go-to choice. Next up we have Krita, or Krita. I don't know. Krita is a fabulous GPL licensed tool for working with rasterized graphics. It's got all the stuff you need, a variety of built-in brush presets, multi-layer editing, and even graphics tablet support. My Wacom tablet works great with Krita. Pressure sensitivity, brush direction, and even button mapping are all supported. It's also a good choice for 2D animation, though you'll need a newer version than what's available in Ubuntu's repositories. Krita is my first choice for hand-drawn pixel perfection. Now, I got a little bit of flack last year for recommending VS Code, mostly because it's a Microsoft project. And hey, while VS Code is free software, if you don't trust Microsoft, fair enough. Now, a bunch of you guys recommended Atom in the comments. It's an IDE developed by GitHub and it's MIT licensed. It's got some great features, version control, syntax checking for multiple languages built in by default, and even a spell checker, which is awesome. If you're looking for a new IDE, Atom is a great choice. And finally, we have Monogame. Last year, a few people chose to use Monogame in their submissions. Monogame is an MSPL licensed framework that a few of my favorite games were created in. Fez, Bastion, and Transistor, just to name a few. First, it's cross-platform. Second, there's a decently sized community. And third, the documentation seems robust. I've never used it, but a bunch of you guys recommended it, so go ahead and try it. Well, that's my list for four tools to help you with this year's Game Jam. If you have a suggestion, leave it down in the comments. If you like the work that I do, you can consider making a pledge over on Patreon or LibrePay. You can share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching.